In this video, I'll discuss about the architecture of brain and the uh, similarity as well as the difference between a brain and the CPU system. The brain is one of the complex uh, system. Uh, in the brain, the center of the nervous system. The brain is the center of the nervous system. As you know, it is the center of the nervous system in humans. That means, what are all our action that is deep in the brain? It is located within the skull. It is a complex and vital organ and is responsible for controlling, responsible for controlling and coordinating various bodily functions. The brain plays a central role in processing information from the sense, enabling perception, thinking and consequences. See, here the human brain is slightly different from the animal brain. The process or the function what we observe between the animal brain with that of the human brain. It's a uh, uh, the brain is usually composed of billions of specialized cells called it as a neurons. These neurons form intricate networks and pathways throughout the brain and the rest of the body. This network allows the transmission of information. So, from one region, the body region to another region and communication with each other through electrical as well as through chemical signals. So, so these all signals by transferring electrical and chemical signal, a spontaneous action we may observe with the help of a brain. So, this is a real brain picture, how it appears. See, the brain is composed of a special type of cell, what we called it as a neuron. And the now, I will come into the architecture of brain. It is a highly complex organ. It consists of several distinct regions and each with its specialized function. The structural organization and the arrangement of various components of brain is referred as the architecture of brain. Usually the brain composed of cerebrum, cerebralum, uh, hypothalamus, uh, other uh, components. Now let us see one by one. The first one, uh, the overview of the major structural components of brain and their function. The cerebrum is the largest and the most prominent part of the brain. See, these things, the entire things, what we call it as a cerebrum. This is a brain anatomy and the uh, we can observe the four lobes present on the uh, uh, brain. Okay, the entire, the cerebrum is the largest and the most prominent part of the brain. So, it is divided into two hemispheres. The one what we called it as a left hemisphere, the other one is a right hemisphere. See, these are connected by bundle of nerve fibers. And the cerebrum is responsible for higher cognitive function including consequence thoughts, reasoning memory, language processing, perception, voluntary movement. This is the major function what we observe in our daily life. These are all done by, uh, done in the brain or the responsible for the uh, for uh, 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 cerebrum. See the cerebellum, cerebellum, bellum. Uh, is located at the back side of the uh, brain. It is located at the back side of the brain. So, this one is a cerebrum, the entire thing. It is called it as a cerebrum and uh, below that or the back side, what we observe is a cerebellum. It is brain below the cerebrum. The main function of this part are motor control, coordination, balance, and posture. The cerebellum receives a sensory information. It receives sensory information from the muscles, joints and helps in fine tuning movements and maintaining equilibrium. Cerebrum and cerebellum. The third one 
is a brain stem that we can see here uh, that is a what we call it as a brain stem this is a brain stem this will uh, 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 connect it to the uh, spinal cord the brain stem is located at the base of the brain and is connected the brain to the spinal cord the brain stem is responsible for essential functions like regulating breathing heart rate blood pressure and basic involuntary actions without knowing unknowingly we'll do some actions that is usually done to the brain stem then we observe the another uh, 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 part in the brain that is thalamus you can see this is the thalamus the thalamus is a structure located deep within the brain it acts as a relay station it receives sensory information it receives sensory information from the various sense organs and direct it to appropriate region of the cerebral cortex for processing then fifth one what we observed is a hypothalamus here we can observe hypothalamus uh, a small area located below the thalamus this is a thalamus region here we can observe a hypothalamus it play a crucial role in maintaining various bodily functions like body temperature pressure hunger thirsty sleep hormone productions uh, even the control of pituitary glands etc then uh, we observe the one more part that is what we called it as a limbic system the limbic system uh, is a group of interconnected brain structures involved in emotion memory formation and motivation the main structure of limbic system are hippocampus and amygdala dala associated with the emotions and fear response so these are the uh, four five, sorry six major uh, area along with this the seventh one is a cerebral cortex the cerebral cortex is the outermost layer of the cerebrum it is the you can see here it is the outermost layer the cerebral cortex this is the outermost layer of the cerebrum and is responsible for higher cognitive functions it has a four lobes and each lobe has a distinct functions like we can uh, part it into a uh, four lobes the cerebrum so they functions like uh, motor control sensory processing language visual perceptions etc these are some major components of the brain architecture the brain's complexity arises from the um, inter intri Kate connections and interactions among in different regions. The interactions of information and the executions of a wide range of cognitive and physic physiological processes are due to this complex network. So this is a real brain. Uh, see, we can see the different part: the thalamus, hypothalamus, etc., the cerebrum, pituitary glands, etc. So this is a Uh, connect to the uh, spinal uh, cord so this is about the brain architecture now let us see how the brain and the cpu uh, resembles with each other as well as we can discuss about the difference between these two brain can be compared with the cpu that is central processing unit a computer because both uh, process information even the brain that process and uh, giving response uh, in a particular way as well as a cpu also giving the same response same kind of response even though it differs significantly in their structure functioning and capabilities but uh, there is a some resemblance between the brain and the cpu system the human brain is more complex and sophisticated than any computer system uh, we currently have now i consider what are the similarities between a brain and the cpu system the first and foremost i'll consider the information processing how the brain and the cpu information processing is observed the brain processes information from various sources what that including sensory inputs 
may be touching or some smell like or internal uh, cognitive process they will take the informations the cpu in a computer is responsible for executing instructions will give some execute instruction and processing the data takes place and in the case of brain and the cpu we observe a parallel processing things in brain contains a way vast networks of of interconnected neurons that work in a parallel to process information and carry out various tasks simultaneously at the same time that simultaneously we may carry our different functions together yeah same cpu has a multiple cores that can perform a computations simultaneously so in this regard the cpu and the brains showing some similarities then task allocation the brain has a specialized regions for the task allocations for different functions like vision like you may observe the brain is uh, divided into a uh, four lobes and each lobe has a specific functions they have a different functions like vision language processing motor control memory etc so in the cpu the tasks are allocated the tasks are assigned to different cores based on their nature and computational requirement based on that we'll inform or we'll give the uh, will task we can allocate the task then speed and efficiency the uh, the which is due to the interconnected neural connections and optimal optimizer circuit uh, uh, is also capable of processing information at a high speed and adopting uh, its functioning based on the demand of the task cpu are designed to perform calculations quickly and efficiently particularly the cpu what we observed is a calculation but in the brain it's a moreover the calculation other other type of functions also uh, uh, take place with a uh, high speed okay these are the some similarities we observe between a brain and the cpu information processing parallel processing task allocation speed and efficiency now i take the difference between the brain and the cpu the complexity if you consider between the brain and the cpu the brain is a more complex organ it's a complex organ with the billions of neurons and the trillions of synapses are present the brain's architecture plasticity ability to learn adapt for surpass the capabilities of any cpu systems it will definitely surpass the capabilities of any cpu system but cpus are engineered system with a finite number of components and defined abilities it's a not that much complex okay and neural plasticity the brain exhibit plasticity it exhibits the plastic it can rewrite its connection so rewire its connection adopts its functioning based on experience and learning and we may uh, even a human being by learning or by uh, experiencing so he will learn lot of things and it can rewire its connections but cpu has a fixed circuitry and instructions the plasticity features is not present in traditional cpu system it's completely absent in traditional cpu system then energy efficiency if you consider a brain with a cpu a uh, brain consumes very less energy that is a uh, it consumes the brain is a remarkable energy efficient compared to cpu it will perform a complex computations with a relatively low energy consumption but the cpu generate heat and consume large amount of heat or the energy then analog nature the brain neural activity is primarily analog in nature it is not a digital one it is an analog in nature the neurons communicates using electrical potential and the chemical signals so cpu operates using digital signal that is one and zeros and the fifth one the speed if you consider this uh, the brain cannot function as fast as a cpu in a specific or a defined task it may go done a multi task 
but the speed if you what we observe it is less it can process information in a parallel and has a cognitive capabilities it can efficiently handle complex real world tasks such as a perception learning creative problem solving etc cpu are a faster than brain at executing specific tasks requiring a precise calculation particularly in this particular task a specific task because the cpu is designed for a specific task so it will uh, reach or the speed to complete the task is very high compared to the brain so these are the uh, basic difference between we can observe the difference between the brain and cpu system thanks for watching the video